dreams that 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 you you what you can do What's going on everybody welcome back to another Roblox video so as you guys know um, Pretty much after every sale we go through and we see how the sale was we kind of rate the items on a 1 to 10 We see overall how well and just how good we think the sale did in general um, So that's what we're doing now for the sale that just passed uh, I would have done it the last couple days, but we kind of have we kind of had uh, Just stuff to make videos on and everything so I wanted to make the video of me accepting one of the poison items of course during the whole situation with Alex that way I wouldn't bring it up and it wasn't kind of random like I, I wanted it to be right after the situation and people will still watch the sale video a few days after the sale anyway so I mean I, I figured it was probably all okay to do that so that's what we that's what we did you guys um, and anyways now we're doing the sale video so we're gonna go through the catalog and we're gonna kind of just judge how we think this sale was uh, overall and how well it did we're gonna rate it on a 1 to 10 overall we're gonna also rate excuse me some of the items that came out the limiteds and things of that nature so what we shall do now is we're gonna go through we're gonna look at everything so this got 1.6 million which is that's that's insane okay the fact that these got 1.6 million sales is beyond me like literally that's crazy to me um so these went down for price, which is nothing major. This went down in price. I'd say that was a good price reduction. Uh, the pink eye went back on sale. I actually bought this beforehand, the first sale. I like the eyes. I don't know why. I like the eyes. I think they're cool. I think the eyes are cool. Um, so I think that was a good that was a good on sale item. I'm like, like I'm only gonna rate the items that I actually want to. That's like a six out of ten for me. Um, these were on sale too. Uh, they, they're they're decent. You know, they're they're kind of cool. I'd give them like a 6.5 out of 10. I, I I like the red. The blue is like a 6 out of 10 for me, but they look futuristic, and that's kind of what I like about it because I always like everything futuristic and future stuff. I think it just makes the website cool and everything. But um, now we get the hot pink snow. This is the snow leopard. I think this is a good uh, thing to put on sale. This is like a 7.5 out of 10. If that ever goes limited, I think it'll do pretty decent. Um, the artist fedora. I hey, yeah no. Let's let's be honest, guys. That's kind of an L. It's kind of an L. I mean, it's, it's okay. Well, I mean, okay, the back's cool, but I don't like the front. I, I mainly don't like the shape of it. If the shape was like a regular fedora, I think I'd like it a lot more, but I, I don't like how it's like kind of like circular. It almost looks like a ball, you know? Like, look at the difference between a regular fedora and that fedora. I think it would have been a lot cooler if it was uh, like my fedora, but actually, now that I see it on even under the purple, it's not as bad. I'm giving that a 7 out of 10. After I put it on and I just looked under my fedora, the shape of it, I actually think it's a lot cooler than I give it credit for. The antlers, guys. These were obviously one of the best, um, just one of the best overall items, and uh, I think this was a really good, really good, uh, like, uh, you know, it was a really good choice for them to put these on sale because everyone loves uh, when people put on the antlers and everything like that. And uh, I think that was just a fat W. And then the amethyst antlers. I didn't want them to put these on sale because they were kind of rare, well, rare-ish, I guess you could say. And uh, I just really love them because they're purple, obviously, and they match my purple sparkle time fedora which well, I'll show you right here actually uh, they're pretty dope they're pretty dope new bundle just came out by the way but I don't really care about that let's be honest but like look they look really good with my purple sparkle time so that's why I liked it, it look good with my outfit um, but you know it's whatever I, I'm sad they put they put it on but I'm giving those a 9 out of 10 because I love them the black ones by the way those are a 9 out of 10 too silver thorn I'm giving like a 7 out of 10 I, I I've never been a too big of a fan of silver I don't hate it I, I definitely like the silver I just don't like it as much as I like like purple sparkle, uh, you know, I mean the purple amethyst antlers or the black ones, the black iron. I think they obviously just look a little bit better, um, but, but that's probably just because I like those colors more, but like this, this still looks really fly, you know, this still looks really good, it matches the void good, it just, it really goes and clicks well with a lot of items. Um, these went price reduction, I think, so, I mean, if anyone likes sunglasses, that's a, that's a W. The Overseer Wizard, I actually didn't get that, but... You know, it's whatever. Um, I mean, it's not bad. It's it's kind of cool for a wizard hat. Those eyes are a lot better than like the ones on prey. So I gotta give him credit there. That's like a six and a half out of ten. And then the overseer apprentice, that, uh, uh, like that just looks like warts to me. That's like a two out of ten to me, you guys. I don't like how it's so blocky either. It's kind of too blocky. See, I like this one. This one's a lot cooler looking. You know, it's probably because I like the purple, purpley blue. But. Uh, I also like the shape of it a lot better. It looks more like a regular cape and not like a square, like piece of toast or something, you know? Because that's what it kind of, <laughs> of reminded me of, it's a piece of toast. Um, 
So these, we'll, we'll open up these. Um, well, I guess we'll open up this for the sake of it and that. So the red Qu clockwork headphones went back on sale. These obviously are really sought after. So that's a good, I mean, I wish they went limited, but you know, at least if they went on sale, some other of you guys could get them. So if you guys got them and enjoyed it, then that's good. And I, I, I mean, I think they're like eight out of 10 because I like color red, but head stack, of course we've, we've owned this since it came out, you guys. This right here is like a classic 10 out of 10 item for me. I just love this thing. Let's throw it on the character and see what it looks like real quick. <laughs> yeah, it just looks like stupid and funny and it's just a quirky item and that's why I like it. It's pretty dope looking. Like that, it's like a 9.5 out of 10 for me, 10 out of 10, I really like that. Then the, the uh, Retro Weekend Lampshade. I bought, I bought this the first time it went on sale. Kind of trippy looking actually now that I look at it. It's almost looks like a hologram-ish, 3D-ish, does it? Yeah, does this look 3D? That definitely looks 3D to me. I know they did that on purpose, but that's a pretty cool item. Um, I'm giving this like a 7 out of 10. I probably would never wear it, but I just like the looks of it because I actually used to wear the Halloween lampshade uh, way back when. It's one of my first items on Roblox, actually, so kind of have a little connection to the lampshades. You know, I think they're cool. Uh, the shoulder pauldrons, I don't really like pauldrons or anything like that, but a lot of people do like them. And I mean, for having 4,365 sold, it's selling for 500 Robux. I don't think we can really complain of that. It's definitely going to raise to a couple thousand within a few months. I mean, pretty nice item for a pauldron, so I'm not going to complain. It's like a 6 out of 10. I don't even know what this was. I don't even know where you got these. I don't even know how you got this. Apparently, it was for sale. It says zero sold, though. Maybe it's a uh, toy item. That, those are dope, though. Those are pretty cool, guys. I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty cool item. The Star Mist Fairy Wings. Uh, pretty dope. Pretty dope. I, I, Pretty dope, really. That actually looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I wouldn't. I don't like. I don't like wings on my character, but that looks that looks cool for the most part. What else did they come out with here? That's any good? Okay, they came out with these faces. These faces were massively glitched, but um, I actually got this face for free. No, not that face. Was it this face? I don't know. I got one of the blue faces for free. I think I might have sold it, but yeah. Uh, so I mean, some people got that for free. So I don't think you can really complain. They're doing decent on limited as well, like. 6300 and 2000 that's like pretty solid for limited weird new arthro face you know like that's not bad at all um then obviously this is the big boy ticket of the whole sale uh the emerald valkyrie this thing is just 50 50 sales i mean it's obviously going to do well if it has 50 sales uh this thing's valued at like 900k or something freaking ridiculous like that i don't even know man it's just it's crazy to think about but uh, see look i don't like the color green man it's like a 6 out of 10 for me that was if they, I love the purple Valk. If that was purple Valk and I didn't get it, I'd be furious. But I bought purple Valk for 50k way back when. So hoping that goes limited at some point because I really love it. Uh, this is the agonizingly red bucket of cheer. I owned this before, uh, before it actually went limited. So I actually got this as a free limited, pretty much. I bought a thing. I think it was 25,000 robux back in the day, you guys. And uh, so I bought this way back when. It, whenever it went on sale, 2013 is when I bought it. So I waited five years, six years for that thing to, good God, I waited six years, bro. But like, I love the color red. I think it looks really dope. Um, that's just me. I'm probably going to make a cool outfit with it though at some point and just uh, see how it is, you know? Uh, that, but that's my favorite item. This actually is like worth about 95 to 100,000, I think. So I just made about 95,000 Robux with Disco Unlimited. So that's a great investment. See, I bought it six years ago. Um, for 25,000 Robux, and now I got 90,000 Robux, 95,000, so that's like a good 70,000, 60, 70,000 profit there, you guys. So that's pretty dope that I got 70,000 value right there for free, and a nice wrap raise. Um, this is the disgrace barrenness of the Federation. So funny thing with this is, you guys. Um, so <laughs> this went on sale, and like 200 people got this for free. Like it's crazy. Like 200 people got this for free, and like. I get these, t dude. I'm getting another telemarketer call. Hola. We offer affordable health care. Like I don't even like what the heck, dude. I get that's the second time in like the second day in a row of recording that I get a spam call. I just answered on call on, on the street on the on the video just because why not? But anyways, so they Roblox actually messed up with this and uh, you they gave out like 200 of these for free, like I was saying. So now it's worth a lot less than it should have been. Probably should have been like 90k. Now it's going for a lot less. So that's a massive L on their part. Then they got these faces here. This one's doing really well, obviously. That was a good on-sale item. I traded that for like 7K value. Uh, the, the Immortal Sword. This is actually not doing very well at all. The Immortal Sword of the Shattered Earth. This is actually not doing the best. But this, however, is doing pretty well. This is a pretty cool item here. This is a Ornat Bat Katana of Illusion. This looks dope. I unfortunately was not able to purchase this just because 
I wasn't on during the sale. Um, I probably would have bought this because I think it looks really cool. I think it would go really well with my outfit that I have on right now, but I don't know. Guys, I think this sale was better than a lot of the most recent sales. Um, a lot of the recent sales were really bad, and I think this one definitely stepped it up a little bit more than previous sales. So, yeah, that looks pretty dope. I'm going to give this sale overall like a 7.5 out of 10. Guys, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Overall, this sale was not too bad. I think we went through most of the big and good items. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know your opinions on the sale. If you guys want to follow me on my Twitter, it's at Lonnie Dolphson. Trying to hit 10,000 followers this year. I'll follow you guys back sometimes. I always, I always, always, always like this stuff you guys tweet me. And I reply a lot of times. So guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.